In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove previous devices from your Garmin Connect account. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to get on your computer and you're going to go to uh, connect.garmin.com. That is how we log into Garmin Connect. Once you get logged in, it could look a little bit different depending on how you have your dashboard set up. This left navigation should be the same for everybody and this top navigation should be the same for everybody. You're going to notice a little uh, device icon over here. It shows a little wristwatch. If you click on that, you will see all of the devices that are underneath your account. You'll see this option that says Manage Device Priority. The problem with that is it just shows you of all your devices what order do you want them to be the priority. But in my case I've got some old devices that I want to remove completely from my account. The only device I'm currently wearing is my Approach S40 so these other ones are just kind of cluttering up some data. The way you remove it is you click on the given device that you want to remove. So I'm going to go ahead I'm going to click on my Instinct 2 Solar once you're in the actual device, you can see some information about the device and then you'll see a little gear icon up at the top. We're going to simply click on the gear icon and we are going to do remove. There's some other options if you wanted to retire the device. Retire means you're no longer using it, but it's still going to be in your queue. Uh, set it as your preferred activity tracker means by default it will be the one that they recommend or that shows up in your account as your preferred. And then again, we can manage the device priority. If you want to remove it, you're going to simply click Remove. It says you'll no longer be able to sync this device. Are you sure you want to remove it? And I have done that. I'm going to simply click OK. It's just giving you a reminder to remove it from your phone's uh, Bluetooth settings as well. And now when you click on your devices, you no longer see that previous device. There's no way to get it back in there unless you still have the device and you reconnect it to your Garmin Connect account. Pretty simple stuff. As always, I hope the video helps. Thanks for watching.